Welcome to TA Tech. So you're here because you want to run Warzone at the best performance possible. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how. So there are two things I'm going to do before starting the game and showing you the frame rates for each setting of Warzone 2. The first one is changing the UMA buffer to 4GB and the second one is increasing the virtual RAM of your Windows machine. If you are familiar with these and you already have them on your machine so you can skip ahead to where I show the performance of Warzone 2 on the Steam Deck window. Let's get this bad boy started. So first, let's increase our virtual RAM for the machine. Go to the file explorer here and you need to go to the PC. Left click on that and then go to properties. Wait for this to load and then you need to go to where it says advanced settings. Press on advanced settings and then under performance, you need to press on performance settings. So press on performance settings and then you'll see advanced. Click on advanced and then you'll see down there where it says virtual memory. So as you can see here, I have 10,000 megabytes of virtual memory. That's what you need to have on your machine. So let's go to change to be able to amend our virtual memory. So go to change and then you need to go to customize size. As you can see here, I have in the first one 10,000 and in the second one 11,000. This will change your virtual memory. Now all you need to do is press OK and restart your Steam Deck. Make sure you restart your Steam Deck from the actual restart button. Don't restart the Steam Deck from the, the lock button because the changes will not be saved. Let's go to the next one. So now we need to change our UMA buffer. All you need to do is go to the settings of the PC and wait for it to load. Then you need to go to update and security. Click on update and security and then you will see where it says recovery on the left menu. So after you're in the recovery menu, you need to do advanced startup. Click restart now to advanced startup your Steam Deck. So after you've done that, your Steam Deck is going to reboot. Let's skip ahead and then go to troubleshoot. When you go to troubleshoot, you need to go to advanced options. After that, you need to click on UFI firmware. Click on that and click restart. Then your Steam Deck is going to reboot to the menu. Now you need to use the D-pad to navigate. Go to this one and click A. So after you get that done, you need to go to where it says advanced, click on advanced, and then you need to go inside that menu and scroll all the way down where it says UMA frame buffer. So as you can see here, I have it set on four gigabytes. Make sure you set yours to four gigabytes and then click save and exit. Make sure you click save and exit before you restart your Steam Deck from the boot menu and then the changes will be done. So now let's test the performance of Warzone 2 on the Steam Deck. So this is how I'm gonna show you the FPS. I'm gonna start with the medium setting here is your FPS counter so you can keep an eye on the FPS while I play the game. First, let's start with the medium settings. I'm gonna land somewhere and show you what is the frame rate when you land with the medium settings. So here, it shows the FPS when we landed with the medium setting. The game runs really smoothly and doesn't really dip so much below the 54 FPS mark, even when fighting against people. But unfortunately, I didn't really get to record that because every time I land uh, to fight people, they really kill me, so I'm really bad at the game. But you can take my word for it, it runs at 54 FPS. So let's go to the recommended settings now and check how is the performance with the recommended settings. I'm going to use visual quality just to push the Steam Deck a little bit more. So this is the quality mode on the recommended settings as you can see here. It runs on around 50 FPS, it's going to dip to 47 and sometimes to 45. But it's quite stable, it's playable, but I really didn't like it so much because there are some jitter on there. Uh, I would go with the performance settings instead of the actual quality settings but sometimes yeah it goes to 53 54 but sometimes it dips into 45 into the 40s and a lot of people really not happy with that so let's go to the next one so now it's time to go to the basic settings it's a lower preset but it's better than the minimum settings so let's test this out so first when you change this of course it's gonna dip into the 40s but as you can see here it goes right into the 50s uh, most of the time when playing with these settings it stays in the 50s and sometimes into the 65 60 so it's quite good but it does sometimes dip into the mid 40s when you mid battle but it's quite good to play with it, it has a bit of jitter but uh, it's not better than the performance settings but let's go to the next one now let's go with the balance settings which are higher uh, settings than the basic ones and should push the steam deck a bit more so as you can see here we're gonna start with the 40s as usual whenever we change the settings but now it's gonna go into the higher 40s it should stay there but sometimes you will feel some jitter and it dips right to the 30s it's not so good to play with i would recommend avoiding the setting unless you have some other tweaks to do but this one is not for me okay and now let's go to the last one the ultra settings i don't think the steam deck could handle that really but it's fun to try and why not so as you can see here when we change it, it's gonna dip into the 30s what we play is around the low 40s 43 37 it stays in that range it doesn't really go to the 50s much and it's not really good to play with it looks very nice but there is some jitter and you're not gonna have a lot of fun of playing with that so thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like my channel subscribe and peace